Hello everyone, my name is Alexander and you are on the Audio Advisor channel. Today we'll talk about which is better, CVT or AMT. And let the fire begin in the comment, so don't forget to leave a comment under this video. The first attempt of a modern automatic transmission appeared at the beginning of the last century. In 1903, a hydraulic clutch was assembled, which performed hydrodynamic transmission and uncoupled the engine and propeller of the ship. Such a fluid coupling is still used in every automatic transmission and is an important part of it. For the first time, an automatic transmission was installed in a car by the Americans in 1940. Over time, the box has been modified, but its principle has always remained unchanged. At the heart of each automatic gearbox is a torque converter and a gear system. The torque converter is responsible for a smooth gear shift. The engine connects to a torque converter, which is then connected to a gear system and then to the transmission. The design of an automatic transmission has been brought to ideal in most modern cars, so 50% of world market sales are attributed to automatic transmissions. The torque converter transmits engine power to the hydraulic pump and transmission input shaft. The planetary gears are lined up one after the other in series. The TCM uses valves to control clutches and brakes to select and switch between different gear ratios. So does the ATM break down? The cause of the breakdown, in most cases, is the car owner himself, who is negligent about the issue of automatic transmission maintenance, for example, by operating the car at very high loads. Manufacturing defects are very rare, although they do occur. No timely oil change, replacement of consumables, the most common causes of breakdowns. Dirty working fluid, driving more than 70,000 kilometers without replacement, leads to disastrous consequences. They affect absolutely all vital parts of the gearbox. ATF plays a key role in the ATM. It lubricates all parts and provides pressure without which the unit cannot work. The old black oil negatively affects the entire box, causing it to malfunction. If there is no maintenance of the box at all, then even with the clean oil, there may be problems due to the natural wear of the parts that must be changed in time. First of all, you should always focus on the rules. If you call the dealer and he says that the oil in the box should never be changed at all, don't believe it. The frequency of oil change depends on the model of the box and the age of the car. It can vary from 30 to 60,000 kilometers, and this is a mandatory requirement. Be sure to change the oil. To make it run longer, it's recommended to change the filter along with the oil. Flush the pan from wear products, flush the radiator with oil, which controls the temperature in the gearbox system, and clean the magnets. Remember, there is no automatic transmission that does not require maintenance. Pay special attention to the box if you buy a used car. It's better to immediately check the condition of the oil in the workshop or replace it. Advantages of AMT The key difference between an MAT and a CVT, which we'll talk about a little later, is that the AMT is well studied. It has been on the market for a long time, therefore, there will be no big problems when AMT need repair. In addition, repairing an MAT is a little cheaper than a CBT, but there are also no less important advantages of AMT. Comfortable driving, no need to think when to change gear, savings on oil. The AMT requires a special fluid, many varieties are available for sale and the price is slightly lower. Sub gear shifting at high speed, very rare breakdowns in the electronic part, transmission interacts with the electronic control unit, which is the brain, but it accounts for only 20-30% of the entire driving principle, the rest is classic mechanics. With proper care of the box, it will travel up to 300,000 miles with no big breakdowns. But the AMT also have disadvantages. Such a seemingly perfect design has its significant drawbacks compared to the CVT. Lower efficiency. The AMT doesn't have that good adhesion to the engine. The torque converter is responsible for this, so some energy often goes to this process, since there are gears, so you can feel jerks during shifting. High oil consumption. 
For AMT, you need up to 10 liters of ATF. For a CBD, 8, and for a manual, about 3. Objectively, the flaws of an AMT are not so serious comparing to the strengths and reliability of it. But for car owners, they can be decisive in favor of choosing a CVT. Let's talk more about this beast. The CVT ensures the operation of the engine in a soft mode. It has many advantages, among which are lower fuel consumption, smooth distribution of engine loads, but that's not all. What is a continuously variable transmission? A CVT is a special type of automatic transmission. A car equipped with a CVT at first glance is no different from a car with the AMT. You can also see two pedals, the same gear stick and with the same modes, but the principle of operation of the CVT is fundamentally different from the AMT. The CVT does not have a fixed first, second or fifth gear, and the shifting is very smooth and completely imperceptible. The CVT changes the gear ratio continuously as the car accelerates or slows down. The most interesting thing is that the first CVT was invented back in 1490 by the famous Leonardo da Vinci. Of course, at that time it was simply impossible to appreciate this invention. The first cars equipped with a CVT appeared in the 50s. Initially, it was installed on DAF cars, then on Volvo. In recent years, CVT have become widespread. To date, there are several types of CVT, among which we can distinguish belt type, toroidal and chain type. The most common are belt type CVT with a pulley of variable diameter. The CVT is equipped with two pulleys made in form of cones, the sharp ends of which face each other. A belt connects them. The radius with which the belt goes around the driving and driven pulleys changes, due to which there is a smooth change in the gear ratio. A belt is a steel tape that has a special coating. A set of steel tapes can also be used on which transverse steel plates are strung. The edges of steel plates are in contact with the pulleys. How to determine what is under your hood? CVT or AMT? The car must have the letter CVT on it. This abbreviation is indicated on the back of the car. Or, for example, if you have a Honda Fit, then you definitely have a CVT. If you sit behind the wheel and drive, then you notice the absence of any jerky motion while accelerating. Sometimes a change in speed can only be determined by a change in tone. At first it is a low rumble, and then it changes into an almost light whistle. A constant change of sound occurs as the speed increases. In neutral gear or after releasing the brakes, a slight rollback is possible. This is due to the relaxation of the belt or chain with a slight movement to the working state. This does not affect the accident rate in any way. In the CVT, there are always fewer modes. Usually, these are P, N, D and R. Less fuel consumption, even lower than of some manuals. When buying a new car, this knowledge is usually not needed. But in order not to get into some kind of a pickle, you need to start with the simplest information. To find out the intricacies of internal structure and possible problems, you can only if you have your own car. The subject of the transmission is very complex. Therefore, for those who are not going to engage in self-repair, a superficial knowledge of the device and the diagnosis of basic problems is sufficient. And the main difference is that the CVT is much cheaper than the AMT if assembled. And if you take it in spare parts, then the AMT is cheaper. Advantages and disadvantages of the CVT Cars equipped with it have significant advantages over cars equipped with other types of gearboxes. Among the most important advantages are the possibility of smooth, quick start, lower fuel consumption and the drive mechanics provide a smooth distribution of the load on the engine. Since the motor is electronically controlled, it's constantly in a gentle mode, which has a good effect on its performance. Sure, the CVT is not without its flaws. Forgive me, Infinity owners. You need to get used to it. The speed is set according to the principle of a tram. That is, quickly enough, the speed hangs at maximum torque. So there is a feeling, like where is the acceleration? 
although modern civilians already know how to artificially shift gears. There is no way to drive at maximum speed for a long time. The CVT accelerates very quickly. You can drive it fast for a long time, but you also can't. At any moment, a situation with a sharp change of a lane or speed may arise. The CVT belt experiences enormous overload. Also, traffic lights racing is not our thing, only a smooth ride. Just imagine how you would drive if you drove constantly smoothly. The CVT is only for a smooth ride. There are certain disadvantages when using on ice and on wet surfaces and also not tow other vehicles. It gets mounted on an engine with a power not exceeding 220 horsepower. Maintenance of the CVT deserves special attention, which is the level of the working fluid and timely replacement. Otherwise, it's dead. A common problem is bearing harm, when abrasive particles hit the work surface. You can live with this. In the cold season, you need to warm up not only the engine, but also the box. Well, by the way, it's not so bad. It's also necessary to monitor the cleanliness of the radiator, if it is present in the design. The price of transmission oil for the CVT is very high. Each brand has its own liquid with approved characteristics. The filter elements are replaced only when the fluid is completely replaced. Uninterrupted operation also depends on the health of all sensors. A trip to the workshops only with a tow truck. By the way, some AMTs also need to be driven only by a tow truck. Repairs in some cases are more expensive than the cost of a new box. For example, if the belt is broken. There are few people that are professionals in the repair of the CVT. That's why there is low demand for cars with a CVT. In my opinion, the CVT was made by marketers so that there was something to change in the car. If you are not the owner of a car with a CVT, then after listening to me, I think you will have something to think about before buying. This applies only to cars on the secondary market. Buying from a car dealership is nothing to worry about. This unit, which is responsible for transmitting torque from the engine to the wheels, is currently developing rapidly. Ease of operation and fuel efficiency come first. The service life can be found at the dealer, but how to ensure the smooth operation of the CVT? In order for the CVT to work as long as possible, without failures and malfunctions, the following recommendations must be observed. Monitor the fluid level. Replace it. Try not to load the transmission when driving off-road. Monitor the accurate operation of all sensors. Check the wiring for brakes. Do not self-repair. Just immediately call a tow truck. If you like fast driving, although with the CVT is not allowed, you like to feel good dynamics, squeeze everything out of the car to the maximum, then the CVT is a good option, but not for long. An AMT is a more traditional choice compared to a CVT. It is calm and relatively unpretentious, but has its own nuances. Moreover, each manufacturer has its own characteristics and is not so demanding, in my opinion. At the same time, the AMT is inferior in terms of dynamics and needs for oil. When choosing a car, weigh all the advantages and disadvantages and then decide which CVT or AMT for you. You were watching the Auto Advisor channel. Don't forget to leave a comment and tell us your story of using a CVT or AMT. The best to all of you and remember, your car is the best one.